if your goals are building muscle, staying lean, and being functional, then calisthenics and animal movements are a potent combination. There was a time in my life when I would go to the gym and do half of my exercises sitting down. As years passed, this began to seem counterintuitive to me. I'm working out for multiple reasons, to increase strength and muscle, yes, but also to get better at human movement. Most people think of calisthenics as exercises done with just your body weight, but the real value to body weight movement is you move your center of gravity. Picture the basic push-up and you see the torso moving through the air controlled by the joints. Picture the bench press and you see the torso lying down and the arms moving. I'm not here to say one is better than the other, but moving your center of gravity leads to the development of multiple qualities, muscle growth, balance, strength, and overall coordination. And there seems to be a strong correlation between having control of your body and feeling comfortable and confident in your body. We use traditional exercises like push-ups, pull-ups, and squats because they put our muscles in optimal positions to contract hard over large ranges of motion. The result is large amounts of relative strength. Relative strength is important because it's our ability to be strong relative to our size. So whether you're doing pull-ups, walking upstairs, or playing with your kids, your strength to weight ratio is always relevant throughout your life. But our time spent training is a small percentage of our life. Much life happens outside of the gym. And to practice maneuvering your body in diverse situations creates even more body control mastery. Animal movements are a safe way to build these nonlinear connections. Animal movements use a fuller capacity of joints and as a result, a unique sense of strength and coordination are developed. In traditional strength movements, we almost always stabilize the torso to produce more force. When we move like an animal, the spine is released and is another moving part. If we combine calisthenics and animal movement, we maximize strength gains, but then apply that strength into practice controlling our body through the spiral lines that much of life happens in. But there seems to be psychological benefits as well. As humans, we crave both analytics and creativity. Calisthenics exercises allow us to be strict and maximize results. Animal movements allow play, exploration, and problem solving. This produces feelings of both accomplishment and fun. And lastly, that strength to weight ratio can have huge benefits on your physique. Becoming stronger at the same weight will usually result in more muscle and less fat. Oftentimes, people who do calisthenics and animal movements have a lean muscular look because their physiques are built by function. And through moving your spine, you develop a more unique aesthetic look commonly seen in athletes. When we are pushing our absolute strength, we want as little variables as possible. And when we're practicing our humanness, we want to explore as many variations as possible. If your goals are building muscle, staying lean, and being functional, then calisthenics and animal movements are a potent combination. Thank you Element for sponsoring this video. I train and I sweat. I replenish with Element electrolytes every single day. They've become a staple in my routine and overall make me drink more water and stay hydrated. Link below for a free sample pack of electrolytes with your first purchase. I want to shout out K Bogues, who I'm a fan of and inspired me into this more simple YouTube video. I'll link to his channel below. I can almost guarantee you'll like it. If you want to learn animal movements from me, you can do it for free with a trial of our membership. Link in description, as always.